Today we're in Princeton, Missouri. We're going to be looking at a unique application an independent telco is doing with their local law enforcement authorities. We're here with Ron Hines, Director of Marketing and Member Relations for Grand River Mutual. Ron, why don't you tell us a little bit about this project that you did with the law enforcement authorities? Sure, I'd be glad to. Uh, the city of uh, Lamoni, Iowa, the police department contacted us with the idea of putting cameras, eventually cameras, but initially they wanted to be able to, to use laptops in their patrol vehicles to connect back to their server at the police station so they could do reports while they were at the scene of a, an accident or the scene of a crime. And uh, so what we did is uh, we uh, researched and we decided to use a 900 megahertz spectrum to provide this service to them, and uh, it worked out very well. Uh, basically, uh, what we did, we, we put a transmitter and, um, and an antenna up on the local grain elevator. We got an agreement with the owner of the elevator, and we approached it as a community service type project, but yet uh, we covered our expenses also. And we mounted the antenna there. We, we, we uh, put a connection back to the police um, department in Lamoni and with 900 megahertz and then we also reach out to within a within the community of Lamoni and then within the surrounding area of four to five miles and uh, we, we basically uh, install some equipment in the patrol cars and uh, laptop mounts and laptops and basically they're wherever they wherever they are in the city of Lamoni uh, which is the home of Graceland University or on the college campus uh, they can have the laptop access in their cars to communicate with the server downtown and uh, we also uh, have done, uh, we have installed a couple of security cameras over this system also. One monitors the local main street and one's at the high school and basically that allows uh, the police department uh, to pull up those cameras also where, when they're driving down the road anywhere within the community to see what's going on at the school uh, or on main street. Uh, also uh, at, at the city park also. And Graceland is the uh, school where uh, Bruce Jenner went, right? Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is the school where Bruce Jenner went. Yes. So, so as far as the future plans for this, um, other towns, other kinds of uh, uh, cameras you're going to be putting on, what, what are the plans? First of all, for the city of uh, Lamoni, they just obtained a USDA grant and they will be adding several more cameras, possibly eight to ten more cameras throughout the community. Uh, four to six possibly in the school to better cover the high school and the grade school and then uh, uh, another four to six uh, scattered throughout the, the community on uh, power poles at strategic locations maybe where they've had some incidents of uh, you know, crime. Uh, Lamoni is a, a low crime community but um, there's always some crime that they want to you know they, they want to prevent if they can. Uh, what this has also led into also, the sheriff of Decatur County, where Lamoni is located, uh, heard about this and he contacted us with an idea of uh, being able to uh, put cameras in other remote communities in Decatur County. And we have done that uh, also, um, not wirelessly, but we've used our broadband, installed broadband connections at the, the community centers of these smaller communities. and. Uh, we uh, have installed one to two cameras right outside the community center, which will cover most of these smaller communities. And it allows the, uh, the uh, county patrolman to pull up to the community center with their laptop and have a wireless connection. We put a wireless router in these community centers. They can get a signal. They can pull up the cameras from the other communities, see what's going on. So uh, it saves gas, uh, it's a form of telecommuting, and uh, provides more security and safety for our customers. So uh, we're real proud, of, real proud about that, and that we can help out in law enforcement. Um, not every community has adopted this yet, but uh, uh, there's been uh, three communities that have, and we look for others in the near future. Well, that sounds great. It's a way of doing law enforcement telecommuting and also saving some money at the same time. Exactly, and it's a win-win for the cooperative. Uh, it, it, it helps us do our part to be a good corporate community citizen. Thank you, Ron. Thank you.